In this video, I'll talk about fusion. Fusion is the transition from the solid state to the liquid state. Fusion is also called melting. Fusion is an endothermic process. That means heat flows into the system that undergoes fusion. Therefore, the enthalpy of fusion is always positive. The opposite of fusion is freezing. Freezing is the transition from the liquid state to the solid state. Freezing is an exothermic process. That means heat flows out of the system that undergoes freezing. The enthalpy of freezing is always negative. Now let's look at the enthalpy diagram again. Between solid and liquid, the two processes are fusion and freezing. Enthalpy increases from solid to liquid. Enthalpy decreases from liquid to solid. Same here. Enthalpy increases during sublimation and vaporization. Enthalpy decreases during condensation and deposition. Now I will talk about two practice problems. Number one, the enthalpy of fusion of water is 6.02 kJ per mole at this temperature and pressure. How much heat is required to melt one gram of ice? We're talking about the fusion of ice. Question number two. The enthalpy of vaporization of water is 40.7 kJ per mole at 100 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. Okay, what's the value of the enthalpy of condensation of water at this temperature and pressure? Second question. How much heat is required to vaporize one kilogram of water at 100 degrees Celsius and one ATM pressure? Now you may pause the video here and then I'll talk about the answers. Question one. Because the enthalpy of fusion is 6.02 kJ per mole, we know it takes 6,020 joules to melt one mole or 18.02 grams of ice. Well, you can use 18 grams as well. Therefore, the amount of heat required to melt one gram of ice is this number for 18 grams divided by the number of grams. We only need 334 joules of heat to melt one gram of ice. Second question. The enthalpy of vaporization of water is 40.7 kJ per mole. Condensation is the opposite of vaporization. Therefore, the enthalpy of condensation of water at 100 degrees Celsius and 1 atm pressure is negative. 40.7 kJ per mole. When water vapor turns into liquid, its enthalpy decreases by this amount. Because it's a decrease, we put a negative number here. This means the change of the enthalpy of water during condensation is negative. Now the second question here, how much heat is required to vaporize one kilogram of water. We know it takes 40.7 kilojoule of heat to vaporize one mole or 18 grams of water. Therefore, the answer is simply 40.7 kilojoule divided by 18 grams and then times one kilogram or 1000 grams. The answer is 2260 kilojoule or 
more than 2 million Jews.